Hi guys, it's me Danielle Dinga and and we've made it. We've made it to the final part, the finale, part eight of our finished coloring pages and complete coloring book collection video series for 2023. It is still a mouthful. Today I'm showing you my final shelf, which includes some of my favorite illustrators. Um, it's really three illustrators. We have my Alice Mills collection, my Morgan O'Brien collection, and then the long-awaited Camelia Andrikova, my number one. So let's get into it. And I think you should stick around till the end of this one where I give you all of my stats. Some of them were kind of surprising. So we'll talk all about that in detail at the end of this video. But for now, we got to get right into it. I have my not Camellia up first. So here is the Alice Mills. The whole stack is Alice Mills. I think I have 16 of these. So that's pretty good. I love these books. Um, this is the cross stitch style, which was original to them. And I really, really like them. And then they have since started um, releasing their books in cross stitch and mosaic style. And I found that I actually do like mosaic even more than cross stitch. So you'll see at some point I started to get the mosaic style. Um, I'm behind. I want to say I'm like four books behind in the series and I want them all. But you'll see that this is one series that I kind of have trouble starting a new book before finishing the last. Oh, this is a good time to say this, I guess. Why not? Last year, I showed you my finished books. So I flipped through, I think there were nine books that I had completely finished and I showed you all of them and I'm not doing that this year. Um, so one of them was an Alice Mills book. But that being said, I have a bad tendency to not color in one of these until like I finish one, which is weird and silly. So there's less pages done in here than there should be. But let's let's get into it. Vintage Tattoo Designs. This was number book 10. And I do have one in here. Fly Like Butter. I love that there's titles on each of them. I feel like my camera is already falling, which I cannot deal with that. That's too early, but we're going to let it go for a little while. Oh, oh no. All right, gotta pause. I swear, it's driving me nuts that this keeps falling. Yikes. But anyway, I have the last page done. I will frequently work from back to front just because of the nature of the game. And I love that they have titles. So that's Fly Like Butter. Next, I have Fantastic Folk Art, which is potentially book nine, and I don't have anything done in here. I have Halloween Spooks and I have one finish, right? Yep, one finish, Spellbound. And then I have a whip, so there's the Spellbound. These are hard to show you because they're premium paper. So not only is the covers glossy, but each of the pages is glossy. So I apologize for that. Living Landscapes is unfortunately untouched. Geometrical Joys, I really like this one a lot. And I really want the pattern one that came out. So this is in chains, my only finish. Um, sometimes I feel like I don't pick the best choices. I don't know, again, if it's the cross stitch style or what, but I feel like the colors are really like fading away. I don't know. So. Next, Fantastic Flowers. And I do have a finish pretty as a picture. In the cross stitch style, there are usually three main page layouts. So it looks like it's in a cross stitch. Um, I forgot what they're called right now. What are they called? Frame, I guess? Hoop? Yeah. So it'll be the round hoop, the long hoop, and then like a full pager. Next is Adorable Nature, which is untouched. It's funny because this is book one, but I did the entire Christmas book as my book one. I have Magical Marine Life, which is shockingly untouched. There seems to be a turtle in here. There's a turtle on the cover. There he is, Turtle Territory. Frosted Cookies and Cakes, which you guessed it, untouched. Can you see the pattern here? This is kind of embarrassing having them all at once. But Frosted Cookies and Cakes is another cute one. Maybe I'll just show the backs because there's examples. 
Kawaii Cuties. Untouched. Ooh, boba. I'm a boba girl right now. I've been loving boba. Ah, and then we have Kawaii Pets, which is the mosaic style. And you can see, even just on the cover, that the mosaic style is much bolder. So I'll just open to one page of each. Well, let's see if I can open to a full page. Oh, my boba page. Ooh. So you can see, even without zooming, that it's much bigger spaces on the mosaic style. The mosaic style uses numbers and the cross stitch uses symbols. So, but that is untouched. Then I have the untouched enchanting fantasy. I don't know if they stop numbering them or they just don't number this version. I don't know. And blissful summer days which I do, thankfully. Cool summer vibes. Retro fields, I thought this one was really cute. And Roman Holiday, which is our cover image. So, Easter fun, this is actually on my books to touch in this, in spring, and I have not, so. We gotta cross our fingers that I get something done in here before the end of spring. Eesh. Then these next two are on my current 10 books to finish. So this is Cutest Christmas. This is the second Christmas book because as I've mentioned, I finished the first one and I did one random one in the middle, Stocked Candy. And the Christmas one's fun because there's a lot of stocking shapes and also, um, what's the other shape called? Sweater sweater shapes so and then the normal ones here with the wave snows no bounds there's only three colors in that one pretty cool pretty baubles a swinging elf and as you can see it goes through so like it'll mess with your picture if you need to look at it dressed in ginger oh, and that's it in there some more examples and finally, City Dreams. This one is also 10 books to finish for me this year. And I work backwards, so. I got New York, Amsterdam, Paris, Istanbul, Vancouver, Marrakesh, maybe? Marrakesh, I don't know. Moscow. Dubai, Mexico City, Barcelona, Cape Town, and Singapore. Yes, that's the end. So yeah, I'm doing pretty good in here. I got a few to go, but I have to do better at not just like picking one to focus on and kind of coloring in the mall. Maybe, I don't know, it might not be too bad. And again, I've slowed down on buying them since I see how far behind I am but a lot of these are pretty high priority on my list, so we shall see. Next is my Morgan O'Brien collection, and I don't have all of them yet. Um, and I also saw he's taking a few of them down and releasing them as like free PDFs instead. So this is North Pole Elves, and I have one finish in here. This is these cuties. This was a... Uh, example of I love all Christmas things but I don't actually have time to color all the Christmas things so just the one but I really like it and I do tend to kind of copy the vibes of the cover with this one with him I don't know why but here's Morgan O'Brien then I have the Matchstick Mouse collection I think the rest of them are all Matchstick Mouse books yep and again I don't have all of them I'm missing spring so this is Christmas and I have one done in here this is cutie. And again, my love of yellow backgrounds is shining through. And I have Halloween. And I have a one done in here. And my second favorite color, or my other favorite color, purple background. And again, I try to copy the cover for my mouse colors, or at least the vibe of it. I'm debating going through those books and coloring all the mice like I did with 
the time to travel sloth book. So it's a possibility. I have autumn and I don't have anything colored yet in autumn. Also, it's gotta be so frustrating to be an illustrator and work with Amazon sometimes. Because if you look, let's see if you can tell just by far away. Can you tell the different quality of that black ink? It is so much bolder in this book than this one. And that's just, it's rough. And now I'm never gonna be like, oh, and complain and try to whatever because there's nothing actually wrong with this. And when it's colored, it probably won't look any different, but it's just gotta be frustrating. Then I have Summer, which I have this one done. I really like this one. I think Morgan commented on this one on Instagram. <laughs> just think it's cute. And they're simple and fun and you can do bright colors. Finally, I have floral, which I really thought I had two done, but I couldn't find the second one. So I got this one done though. Yeah, I didn't love how this one came out. I forget what my vibe was, but it wasn't gonna be this. And then it just looks like Christmas colors and it's a whole weird thing, but it's still cute. And I'm still happy to have it done. So that very quickly was my Matchstick Mouse slash Morgan O'Brien collection. And now the main event is Camellia. So let me get a stack from behind me. Okay, so first up, 100 Beautiful Mandalas. Yeah, I have been talking about this for years. I did my first page in here. Let's see, I do number these. In May, oh my gosh, May 31st. Oh, I thought it said 13th. May 31st, 2019. So I've been working on this for a while. But as you know, I am very close to done. So I have five left to do. I just have to do them. I'm gonna like sit down and do them all in one day. I might have to do that as a vlog or something. I don't know if I wanna flip through all these. I guess I'll kind of flip quickly while I'm talking just because I'm so excited to do this full finished flip and like talk through all of my choices. And it's gonna be a ridiculous video because I've been hyping it up to myself for so long. But point of the matter is I have 95 out of the 100 done in here. And I love them. And yeah, Camellia makes my favorite mandalas pretty much. So that's it. You're getting, that's a 33 page, 34 page sneak peek. And you're going to have to wait for the rest of it. But just know 95 done. Ooh, baby. I love seeing them all together. Yes. All right. <laughs> Sorry for the little teaser. Next, I have her um, like seasonal mandalas series. And this is actually the series that came out before she started the miniature series. I personally got mine after though. So I don't have a lot colored in all of these because these are much thinner line work and it's just a different style. So I just don't pull these as often as maybe I should. This is 50 romantic mandalas and heart designs. So there are, as it says, mandalas. And in, there's some, an example of a heart design. For her, this style of her mandalas, it's more so like vignettes. So it's a circle design with something in the middle. There are some that are mandala ear, <laughs> but a lot of them are just this little scenes. And this book is so cute specifically. So I gotta get to it. But if you can tell the line work, oh, that's interesting. Whoa, is that like a misprint? You see how the line goes through the hearts? That's weird. Um, it's just more detailed and smaller. So yes, but that's 50 romantic mandalas. Then we have 50 wintertime mandalas. And I finished this one. I actually did this pretty recently. And I glittered around the edges. I don't remember. I think this might have been for a three color challenge. I don't know. I don't remember why I did it, but I did it pretty recently. And then I did this one, which is using a pack of Dollar Tree glitter gel pens. These glitter gel pens are very fancy. <laughs> like they glitter. So I really love how this came out actually. But that was just using that one pack. That's 50 winter. And I do have some, but not all of her other mandala books, including 50 Stylish. I actually don't have anything done in here, which surprises me a lot. This one's a really popular one. 
But what's interesting about this, this feels like I'm going to have to do no white space mandalas. And I don't usually do that. So I think this book will be a challenge for me, but they're all very like outlined, sucked in. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but they're all snatched. <laughs> so I, I do look forward to doing this. But again, like with the Alice Mills books, in my head, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm working on my 100 Beautiful Mandalas. I can't work in other Mandala books, which is silly. Then I have 50 Halloween Mandalas. And this one, this is with a neon gel pen. I don't use gel pen too often besides glitter. And yeah, this neon was pretty scratchy, but it was probably also pretty cheap, so it makes sense. And I have this one, which I was trying to do, not traditional colors. I just don't like the yellow. It's really, it's something. And then I have a whip, which <laughs> made me laugh because I have one shoe done. But yeah, that book. I have nothing done in 50 autumn mandalas which again, like summer, is vignette -y, if you can call it that. Lots of fall, flo fall florals, and I love corn. Ooh, should do that one first. Then I have 50 summer mandalas, and I did do this one. Again, a lot of it is done with those. Dollar Tree glitter gel pens. The whole border is the glitter gel pens and then the inside is regular, what is it called? Alcohol marker, sheesh, words are eluding me today. So there's that one, my only finish in there. And I have, you guessed it, 50 springtime mandalas. And in here I did. Whoa, 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 sorry. Ooh, <laughs> with those same, I really love those glitter gel pens. With those gel pens, I did this design, which is like an Easter egg. And there's a few egg designs in here. So, yeah. Ooh, there's another egg. The eggs are interesting because they don't, like, this was kind of a circle design, and then there's like extra stuff. So, it's kind of hard to figure out what you're going to color. Then, this is 101 Unique Mandalas, which is my other giant book by her. And this was actually my first ever um, mandala book, I think. The first, yeah, I think this is my first mandala book. This was definitely my first Camellia book. And I really like this one and highly, highly recommend it if you have never tried mandalas because this has a ton of different styles. I want to say there's probably like 10 to 15 different styles in here and those styles spawn their own books. So like if you love one of them, you can find a whole book on just that type. So I really recommend it. And let's see, oh, I did this one. Like some of the ones in the front are more traditional. Then, oh, another traditional one. I don't remember what she calls these shapes, but she almost definitely has a whole book of just these shapes. So if you're interested in that shape, there's a second one of those. There's also dream catchers in here. I didn't do any of them yet. I have a whole book you'll see later of her celestial ones. So there's a bunch of celestial ones in here. These might be yin yangs because it looks like a second page of that too. There's a whole book of heart ones if you're interested in that. Oops. These feel like the spiral ones. And another regular old page. This is my favorite style, and I wish that there was a whole book of just this, but this is more like the like geometric straight line ones. So I have two of them done. And there's another good one in here to do. I think that she calls these lotus. So there's a few pages of the lotus style. A fruit page had to do that and then again her more vignette style so this is what the seasonal ones are spawned off of this one was fun I actually did this with my dot markers a long time ago as a video 
Then there's a few simple mandalas, which I know she has a simple book too. And this one, I don't know what style this is, but it's more of like a plop than a mandala. So, but yes, that's 101 unique mandalas. And I think I had like 20 done in here, which is exciting. So maybe one day this will be my book to finish. But this might be the next one. This is 50 nighttime mandalas with the black backgrounds. And I do enjoy this a lot. And I've been working front to back in here. I just think it makes everything look nicer. I picked a very similar color palette for those two. So just those five for now. Yep. But I just have a feeling this might be one of the books I tackle next mandala wise. I have Sun and Moon Mandala, which I was talking about the celestial ones. So when I have this page done and it's half glitter, half alcohol. Then this is an earlier one too, Mandalas for Relaxation and Meditation. And yeah, there's only 40 in here. That's how early it was in the journey. Are these all square? Yeah, so these are kind of like square-er than the other ones. So that's a fun twist. But I just have our opening page. And 50 spiral mandalas. I think there's also 50 swirly mandalas, which I thought I had, but I haven't found this. This one is more detailed, so it's a little bit harder because I think I have to use fine liners. Like if you look, some of those are quite fine lines, which isn't a big deal. It's just I historically use alcohol markers and that would bleed through this. So just gotta use a different medium. That's 50 spiral mandalas. And I have my um, critter collection, mythical creature collection. I don't know. This is 50 lovely gnomes. I did this little cover page when I was trying to get rid of my gel pen still. That project pops up a lot. And I don't know what I used on this. It's an interesting texture page though. Our strawberry gnome. This bunny. I remember coloring that bunny. And then I think I probably did something with Sam or wedding related for me wedding gnomes. And finally, one of the Christmas gnomes. This was, I want to say, my 2021 advent calendar page. But like I said, I don't number everything, so hard to tell. Speaking of Christmas, I have the Christmas elves. I gotta do more in here because this book is cute. There's Santa and our yellow background. And there is these tight roping, tight rope walking gnomes, elves, excuse me. And I glittered this page pretty good. So super cute. Finally, I have two of the fairy house series. This is 50 winter and Christmas fairy houses, which I haven't gotten to do anything in yet. It's cute and 50 Halloween fairy houses, which I only have one page done. It's this one, which this was fun to do. So there's that. And now the main, main, main event, the miniature series. So let me move some books around and I'll be right with you. Okay. <laughs> so heavy. So, I think there are currently 16 miniature books out. I don't remember, but here they all are. Some of them, I have more pages done than others, and it's a surprise. Also, I am cheating again, and I do have the mythical miniatures in here, but even though it was technically purchased after May 1st, so I'll just be honest. First is 50 ocean miniatures, which is on my 10 books to complete. We shall see but I'm doing this as a buddy color with Emily and we've done all of these pages together. So I'll just flip through them. I love how this whale page came out. And again, it's just so fun to see the pages done in order. It's 
are doing so many of these though you kind of have to like try to mix it up to keep from getting bored and I have the hardest time with the scenery pages stickles texture cute cute metallics liquid pearls scenery that I cannot finish. This has been like a year long whip. Two other whips. My otters, I don't know what I was trying. Sea horses. Dolphin. Turtles. I like added the tiniest bit of design work. I did a few of these as buddy colors before I did them with Emily or before I started coloring with just Emily. So like we've had to catch up with each other and do the like three pages the other person had done. More turtles. Fishums. And my unidentified creatures in the submarine. I don't know if they're bears or red pandas fat cats no idea <laughs> that is ocean miniatures and then i have autumn miniatures and i did my nameplate page i've done a lot of the nameplates in this series you'll see and i have a full pink page looks pink and brown but i'm sure i had done this for a reason <laughs> my halloweeny ghost cat then I have ugh, this one, um, those reds are yellowing, so I have to keep these pages in here to try to minimize that because I really love this page and I don't want it to get ruined. And I have this deer. I tried to make it look like there was snow, but this was before I had my bleed proof white. So obviously everything just turned pink. So not necessarily the vibe I was going for. And I have a ghost mouse. This red spider looks more like an octopus. So don't know my, my thought process there. Foxes. I think this was again for like a brown themed page. So I tried to do mostly brown. That feels right. And then I love the word pages in here. So tons of glitter on that one. And happy Halloween. So, not too shabby. Some of these books I had more than I expected colored, and then some I had less. So that's fun. Then I have 50 Christmas miniatures. I really need to do more in here because this one's super cute. But another turtle. I find those turtles and I color them. I loved how this one came out because I actually added these stickers myself from my scrapbooking stash so I just think it looks super cute with all the lights and these mice super cute and these gingerbread it was for like a rainbow prompt that's 50 Christmas miniatures then I have 50 jungle miniatures my name plate page cute i have this was for a buddy color um like a group buddy color at some point use those liquid pearls i think the background is uh oh what are those called are they called gelatos am i making that up those sticks <laughs> and this oof, this frog page i really do like how this came out it is bold but it's funny because when the book is closed you can still see where this page is so I don't know if you'll be able to tell from the side yeah you could tell you can tell where right where that is then we have 50 winter miniatures and I did my intro page snowman and I accidentally my forgot my background page so I'm gonna have to fix these pups up another brown theme page 
these little creepy cuties. I don't know what they are either. I guess they're just little elves, gnomes. <laughs> Fireflies. And again, the word pages. I really like this as a not traditional winter color scheme. The orange, green, and brown. And the Merry Christmas. That's winter miniatures. Then, shockingly, I have Easter miniatures and I don't have anything done in here. I don't know why that has happened, but maybe there's too many birds. It's a lot of birds and a lot of eggs, but I need to work in here at some point. I think what happened, like with the Disney books, ever t like when I was first getting them, there's a lot of pages done because there weren't as many choices, but the more that come out, the harder it is to like color in them all. So there's less and less colored. So that's Easter. Then I have 50 summer miniatures, which has our intro page. and a season swap so I instead made this look like elf clothes instead of summer and I think I tried to make it look like frost was on the flowers with the glitter I don't know that was for a video next I have 50 Halloween miniatures I actually have more done in here than I was expecting we got our name page the scarecrow super cute this door <laughs> this one and the next one i did as on live with emily when i visited her in chicago okay it wasn't the next one but there's two we did in here it's bats it's the other one it's super cute i think i added some of these extra clouds yeah this was the other one we did on the live And then this was with crayons. I don't love how this came out, but I definitely had a prompt to use crayons. I probably won't be doing that again in this book. Our fox. I added a lot of fluff in the background, it seems. And these cute little monsters. This is why I next want space miniatures, and I want aliens, and I want all of our little normal recurring critters to be in like astronaut suits. They can visit different planets. It would be super cute. So that's my next wish list item. <laughs> then we have the brand new 50 mythical miniatures, which I don't have anything done yet. It is very new, but I think it's going to be, I don't know if people are going to love that the names are on there. I like it because I don't know what all these critters are, but I have a feeling it's going to be a, a contentious thing. So that's that one then we have uh oh i was trying to see if i should mix them up but i will not 50 vacation miniatures i love how this one came out my little ice cream penguin this one the toucan just doesn't feel right to me but i like looked up pictures of toucans so it's the best i could do and another bird i was getting the birds out of the way I do really like this one. This is when I was trying to get, I went to Chicago and I was trying to get Emily to come to New Jersey. So I think this was a buddy color with her. And I tried to do like clouds in the background. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I tried. <laughs> That's vacation miniatures. Then I have 50 safari miniatures. And I surprisingly only have one done in here. And this was also for a group buddy color. So I don't know what, what my deal is. I was very shocked. So 50 romantic miniatures. My nameplate page. For a second, I thought I made that into like the YouTube logo and I was surprised with myself, but it's just a normal red and white item. I love when she adds like references to coloring. So I like that bunny a lot. Um, I think it was supposed to be I Love You with just the shape of that. It looked like a ribbon, but I put the I in there to extra drive home the fact. 
the sprinkles this is when I was not very smart and I tried to go around everything instead of just going over the sprinkles later so I remember this being a challenge but it looks good in the end a pup I feel like this was on video too use the washi tape and then I tried to do something different here and I um essentially framed in the elephants I love you a ton this is now a wall sign that's it hanging a red page shocking this is very red I think this was a video with Sam where we each picked a random crayon and that had to be our color for the video and again the words I just like doing the words so that's 50 romantic miniatures then I have 50 farmers miniatures and I only have two done my intro page which I love I really like how these pages come out so often that's why I've done a lot of them and this piggy which is another buddy color with Emily for two people that color a lot less than we used to we did a lot of buddy colors so here's that one then I have 50 spring miniatures my intro page and this bee I don't remember what prompt this was for but I really enjoyed this bee and these flowers again I'm not great with the scenery ones they're just harder for me I did this this year for St. Patrick's Day I thought that came out nice and the words I'm shocked actually have more words to do I have happy Easter and hello spring so I'll have to come back here if I need some words and then two other pretty new ones 50 woodland miniatures I only have the one finished so far this is my tree I love this tree any like living trees reminds me of the tree from Kirby but this looks like a nice tree and not a, a boss level tree and 50 prehistoric miniatures and we got our dinosaurs so I have two done in here this was for a color palette challenge I think it looks pretty good if you ask me and also my neon yeah feels like like baby bop from Barney obviously it's not the right colors but that's the vibe so that's it that is our collection. I'm going to keep Baby Bop out as we talk stats. I have a few stats to tell you. First off, our part eight stats. Um, my favorite illustrators. I showed you 55 new books today, of which 16 were uncolored. And a lot of them were just because I haven't started my Alice Mills books yet. And 250 pages. That seems like an overwhelming number. Remembering, though, 95 of them were in that one Mandala book. So if we take that out, what is that? 155? A lot less, but still pretty good. And now I have stats for the whole entire series. My 2023 totals. And I also have comparisons to 2022, which is interesting. So I just showed you in these eight parts, 392 books. Is that what you guessed? Is it more? Is it less? Let me know. 130 of them are uncolored. Again, that number hurts a little bit. So it, I make some sense. About 40 of them are Disney books that I haven't colored. And again, I just like collect those flat out. So them not being colored is disappointing, but not really surprising. And that leaves 90 uncolored, which is still not the best. And a lot of them are me being silly and not moving on to a new book until I finish one. So I showed you 1,257 finished pages. Now, again, this isn't my total finishes ever, but it's a lot of them. And then to compare to last year, last year, I actually showed you 14 more books than this year. Uh, nine of them were completed books. Like I said, I didn't show the completed ones. So if I had, it would be those nine and I think five more maybe. So that's basically the 14 right there. Um, but also I've just done a good job, I think, of um, passing books on that I'm no longer using kind of situation and shopping less. Um, I'm pretty sure I looked back last year at my stats from 2021 and I said I had acquired like 160 new books. I don't keep that detailed um, stats at this point so I can't really tell you what 
super like has been in and out but obviously 14 less books I'm proud of that number and that's good I really need to stay hovering around this 400 and not go higher I'm out of space hmm. 13 more were uncolored though so last year what did that mean 117 and now it's 130 again my my Disney selection collection has been exploding so most of it is that um I've done legitimately done a much better job and not shopping than in 2022 than in previous years and it's 133 less finishes which just goes to show um that's those nine books for sure plus again a few extra books I finished last year and just anything that I had gotten rid of over time or shared I should say but that's that that is my totals so yeah do you guys know how many books you have have you ever thought of doing this also i again want to say i think i got a comment on the first video that was like "Ooh, bragging are we no it just i didn't even think to address it because i feel like at this point we all know the deal i've been collecting these books for like six seven years at this point i have been very very fortunate to receive a vast majority of them as gifts from my very supportive friends and family who have always been very encouraging of my hobbies and since I have a channel I probably have received at least 40 or 50 of these books to review and do videos on on the channel and that's another reason I buy some to do reviews for things like that I obviously my Disney collection is all me just wanting more of those books but I hope that nobody feels bad about their own number I've mentioned multiple times throughout this eight part series that I do miss having less books because it's fun to just not have as many options it can get very overwhelming and I again we all kind of go through phases with our hobbies so in the beginning I feel like a lot of us buy everything we can anything that's on sale anything we see then we start learning our style and narrowing it down and yeah so hopefully nobody is upset with my numbers if you are that's okay but sorry I don't know but I would love to know how many books you think you have and yeah anything else that you want to tell me I wish I was the kind of person that like just worked in one book in order until I was done and then moved on to the next and like didn't buy until I was done but I'm not blessed with that type of patience so that's it for me and this series I think I did this last year too but I think our number or our word for this video is going to be our total number of books so 392 is our secret word slash number for this video so thumbs up this video if you liked it comment anything you want to comment down below including our secret word 392 subscribe if you haven't I'm a fun time I'm gonna have to put out something in these upcoming days some sort of new videos let me know if you want to see anything specific and again talk to me down in the comments anything you want to know um if you want to yell at me that's okay too so I thank you so so much for watching and now I'm ready to get back to actually coloring instead of just showing off my stuff and yeah i'll see you again with this series next may and hopefully well, these numbers will all be different again so i want this number to be about the same this number to be lower and this number to be higher so that would be ideal but thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye friends